Dino has to set itself apart, right? And TypeScript was one of the ways that it kind of did that to start. What were the other big ideas that Dino has that sets it apart from everything else? First important aspect is that it's written in Rust instead of C++. Node is a very large C++ project. And I'm not sure how you guys feel about this, but I'm very convinced that I will never start another C++ project. Rust really solves the C++ problem, as it were. And mm. then I think that there's many great things about Rust, but the thing that is most important to me is the ability to have a single build system. So this cargo system of linking together different Rust crates. In C++, there's no one defined way of how to take different C++ libraries and smash them together. So, you know, Chrome has this GN project, Node uses this JIP project, there's CMake. There's a lot of different tooling for for kind of mm -hmm. compiling together dependencies in, in C++. And this ends up being a huge, huge complexity in terms of bringing in external third-party code into a big project. And so, you know, in node days, when we want to, you know, we built a web server and like, you know, you have to parse HTTP and it's such a difficult problem that we ended up writing our own HTTP parser for this. It's so difficult to bring in external code that you end up often having to just write the stuff over again mm. because it's so difficult to link. And this is very different in Rust, right? If I need a YAML parser, if I need an HTTP server, any sort of third-party stuff, I would do what people are used to doing in JavaScript or Ruby or Python. You can just kind of include dependencies and have this all compiled together really nicely. And that's an important aspect for a platform like Dino or Node because you know we provide all of these APIs to do various things, right? You want to open a WebSocket. You want to have an HTTP2 web server. All these various systems that it talks to need implementations. And it's very nice that we're able to just link in third-party implementations of all these various systems pretty easily. So from a maintainer's perspective, rewriting it in Rust mm -hmm. is a really killer feature that kind of allows us to iterate much, much quicker.